Dear student, welcome to the problem solving session on inverse Z transform using convolution theorem part 2. In the part 1 video, we have learned the definition of convolution and convolution theorem and we solved few problems on inverse Z transform by convolution theorem. In this video, we are going to continue few more problems for more confidence and clarity. Let us go into the session. In part 1 video, we solve the problem for z inverse of z square divided by z minus a into z minus b using the convolution theorem and convolution definition. From this, we get this very standard result and we just apply this result and we can solve for any problem. Even if z inverse of z square divided by z plus 1 and z plus 3 is given to you. Now simply replace a by minus 1 and b by minus 3 will be getting the answer. And also we solved a different problem 8 is at square divided by 2 is at minus 1 into 4 is at minus 1. We learn how to simplify this and find the value of a and b. In this session we are going to solve few more interesting problems on convolution theorem. Next in the similar way we can see the problem 4 is at plus 1. So only a small change is going to happen. Just derive the example 1 as usual. Now a equal to 1 by 2. Since here we have z plus 1 by 4, my b is going to be minus 1 by 4. Now substituting the values, we will be getting minus 1 by 4 whole power n plus 1, minus 1 by 2 whole power n plus 1, minus 1 by 4, minus 1 by 2. When you take LCM on this, we will be getting minus 3 by 4. When it comes to the numerator, it will become minus 4 by 3, minus 1 by 4, n plus 1, minus 1 by 2, n plus 1. Now, multiplying the minus inside, we will be getting 4 by 3, minus, minus of 1 by 4, power n plus 1, plus 1 by 2, power n plus 1. Next, we are going to deal with z inverse of z square divided by z minus a whole square. We have to derive this separately. Why? This formula will work very good unless otherwise a is not equal to b. If a and b are equal, my denominator will become 0. Answer goes to infinity. So, we have to derive this case separately. We know the formula for convolution theorem and definition of convolution. z square divided by z minus a whole square can be splitted into z by z minus a into z by z minus a. Now, using convolution theorem, I can write this as z inverse of f of g star z inverse of g of g. f of g is nothing but z by z minus a. Similarly, g of z is also z by z minus a. So, we will be getting a power n star a power n. Okay. Now, applying the convolution formula. As I said in the beginning of the problem, first use convolution theorem. Then use convolution definition. We get a power r into a power n minus r. Now, adding all the power because the base are same, I will be getting a power n. But this a power n is not connected to the problem. Now, I can write this as 1. So, now I want to add this up to n. Student immediately say, sir, answer is n. This is wrong. Why? Because I am adding 1, not n times. If I add r equal to 1 to n, 1, then it is going to be n times 1. But I am adding from r equal to 0 to n. Therefore, it has n plus 1 terms. So, a power n, 1 plus 1 plus etc. 1, we have n plus 1 times. So, n plus 1 into a power n is going to be my answer. In the similar way, we can deal the problem of z inverse of z square divided by z plus a whole square. Split this and apply convolution theorem and then we get minus a whole power n star minus a whole power n. Now, applying convolution definition, we will be getting this minus a whole power n. If I add this n plus 1 time, my answer is going to be n plus 1 into minus a whole power n. Hence the problem. So, now you understand how to solve inverse z transform using convolution theorem. Unless otherwise it is mentioned like solve by convolution theorem. Try to avoid this. If you are very confident, 
do this problem but if these kind of questions come never miss it z square by z minus a z minus b or 8 z minus 1 4 z minus 1 z minus 1 z plus 2 they are very standard problems you can do just like that next problem using convolution theorem we have to find z inverse of z cube divided by z minus a whole cube just now we found z square divided by z minus a whole square this is z cube divided by z minus a whole cube we know this is n plus 1 into a power n and also we know that z by z minus a is going to be simply a power n now hope you get the idea what i am trying to say let us solve this problem we know that z inverse of z by z minus a is a power n and z inverse of z square divided by z minus a whole square is n plus 1 into a power n now i can write this as z inverse of z square divided by z minus a whole square into z divided by z minus a using convolution theorem i can write this as z inverse of z square by z minus a whole square star z inverse of z by z minus a this is nothing but n plus 1 into a power n star a power n applying convolution formula that is f of n star g of n is going to be summation r equal to 0 to n f of r into g of n minus r i'll give one clue since since convolution satisfies commutative property that is f of n star g of n is equal to g of n star f of n now always take the biggest function as f of n and take the simplest function as g of n then it will be very easy for you to solve the problem luckily here the tough function is in f of n and the simple function is in g of n so i can proceed as it is so summation r equal to 0 to n r plus 1 into a power r the second one is a power n so a power n minus r suppose you write this first and this is second now you have to exchange it no problem in it hope you understand next next simplifying this r equal to 0 to n r plus 1 if i add the power since the base is same a power r plus n minus r so it is simply r equal to 0 to n r plus 1 a power n since a power n is out of the game only r plus 1 plays the role here i can take this a power n outside now substitute the value of r equal to 0 to n when you put the first value 0 it will become 1 second value 2 third value 3 it goes on finally nth value is n plus 1 we know that we know that sum of n numbers is 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc up to n means n into n plus 1 by 2 now we have up to n plus 1 so the answer is a power n n plus 1 n plus 2 by 2 do you understand this is for sum of n numbers this is for sum of n plus 1 numbers this is my answer suppose in exams if they ask to find z inverse of z cube divided by z minus 1 whole cube this is going to be very easy instead of a we have 1 so the answer is going to be z cube divided by z minus 1 whole cube z inverse is simply n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 2 next question find z inverse of z square divided by z minus 1 whole cube the difference between this and the previous problem here we have z cube here we have z square okay let us solve this as usual we know that z inverse of z by z minus 1 is 1 power n and the remaining z if i keep z by z minus 1 all square is n now you got the idea how to do this so let us split this using convolution theorem i can rewrite this and this is going to be 1 star n as i said whenever we go for convolution function we have to choose the toughest one as the first and the simplest one as the second then the problem solving will be very easy so now i am going to exchange this as n star 1 for my convenience now you see n star 1 summation r equal to 0 to n n can be written as r 1 is constant you cannot change anything it's going to be simply 1 if you do in the other way you'll get the answer but the steps are little more so n star 1 is going to be summation r equal to 0 to n r remains as it is 
g of n minus r is 1 power n minus r whether 1 power r or 1 power n minus r whatever it is it is going to be simply 1 therefore summation r equal to 0 to n will be getting r now first value is 0 second value is 1 third value is 2 etc nth value is simply n so sum of n numbers is going to be n into n plus 1 by 2 hope you understand thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye